let's talk about some of the agencies worldwide who which are working for the cause of environment in this section we would mainly focus on the agencies related to un which have been working directly and indirectly for the cause of environment so uh, un we have covered in a separate class the sections and the subsections and the divisions of un in this class we would focus on the programs and the schemes with un the first is the unep that's the U united nations environmental program it focuses on global environment pro protection of environmental institutions and some of the categories the seven themes that are there are important so these deal with the climate change ecosystem management environment under review and the chemical waste the next is the convention on Bio biological diversity which is the cbd i request you to go through the class where we have covered 33 conventions on environment which is very very important and this is a component of biological diversity maintaining the sustainability and uh, kind of strategies and the action plan for the same also we focus on the works which are related to the cbd and uh, the various integration approaches the ne next approach is sits which is the convention on international trade for endangered species both plant as well as animals so checking out the import export licensing system and collection of specimen species to be transported are important the next is food and agricultural organization it focuses on the information to be collected and shared for nutrition food and agriculture and this is a kind of knowledge network that has been established the next is ipcc uh, ipcc is an intergovernmental panel on climate change now recently we have seen a very good correlation with climate change and the agricultural production there are numerous crops that cannot sustain a huge shift in the climate uh, change for example wheat rice but there are certain resilient crops like coconut that could see an increase in production with climate change so ipcc which is the inter intergovernmental panel on climate change focuses on the data related to national greenhouse gas inventory programs and the data distribution centers which are focusing on scientific and technical literature and advisories for the various organizations and governments the next is international fund for agricultural development it focuses on poor and uh, marginal farmers the small fishermen and the indigenous population how they could achieve a higher income with the existing resources that they have imo which is the international maritime organization focuses on the prevention of the pollution by the maritime uh, by the ships or the marine pollution uh, the leakage of the oils uh, in the coastal areas is again uh, an important part that is being taken care of similarly desertification is another important challenge it has been seen in many of the regions across the globe and providing productivity and uh, good health in the regions where desertification has been expanding at a uh, rapid rate is important similarly we also have a committee for com uh, curbing down the terrorism now terrorism has badly affected some of the agricultural areas for example the saffron growing region in uh, kashmir in india has been affected significantly we also have the undp which is the development program focusing on sustainable development climate and disaster resilience and democratic governance also have the unfccc which is the convention for climate change and this benchmarks uh, the uh, level of accession of annex one countries under the kyoto protocol for reduction of the greenhouse gas emissions the world meteorological organization similar to the imo has an important purpose where meteorological observation along with the hydrological and geophysical observations are taken into account we are also focusing on aviation shipping and uh, water related issues the next is the coordination efforts at a higher level now any of the program if it is executed needs to be coordinated well so the coordination bodies have their own importance we have high level committee for programs as well as management to maintain a good coordination between the system and the execution of the system also there are information service centers which are uh, concerned with providing information to the far reach people uh, promotional services and uh, sustainable pro program developments that could be done 
you also have the un news center which is focusing on providing uh, the right and the correct information across the region and uh, checking out the risk of illness or the diseases that could be seen similarly children funds focuses on the children's well being and under unicef you have various programs which aims at prevention of spread of diseases uh, providing health to child and mother and also to provide best healthcare facility along with clean drinking water and education the sustainable development focuses on understanding uh, the idea where development is earmarked and the concept is using the resources in such a way that those are available for the future generations as well unesco has been working with education uh, scientific and cultural development you have numerous popular educational uh, schemes and programs that have been run uh, idea is to provide knowledge to a far reach people and a huge segment of population the next is the un forum on forest which is very very interesting and less commonly heard and therefore important it focuses on sustainable forest management and the environmental benefits that could be reaped out also sustainably uh, managing the forest area is important the next is the official online bookshop of Uni united nations environmental program which is earthprint.com aims at supplying and distributing the uh, the books across the globe for over 14 years you have numerous programs associated to it E mine is an electronic mine information network which is running in nearly 30 countries and 3 territories it focuses on demining and the mine risk education which is carried out by the various ngos uh, you have numerous people who are being associated to it map is the man and biosphere program now this is an approach of unesco which focuses on uh, the protection of the sites the biodiversity uh, the biosphere reserves and involving young young scientists for the same the next is UN system wide earth watch which is again important and it focuses on supporting the global environmental outlook uh, strengthening and collaboration coordinated effort with the people the next is the world food program which focuses on emergency relief fund uh, focusing on cash or kind help for food assistance creating a resilient and a strong network of database so that uh, food availability is seen for each and every uh, citizen the next is the un population fund which focuses on the reproductive uh, health care for women and youth also it focuses on training of the health workers for uh, uh, various uh, healthcare services and also uh, development planning that could be laid down so those are some of the major developments under the un population fund and lastly who who has been in news recently amidst the covid concern and you have uh, the ideas which are critical to healthcare uh, partnership programs that are being released for example who has recently given a guideline of a positivity rate of uh, 5 uh, that 5% that could could lead to opening up of the lockdown or relaxations in the lockdown that means uh, five of every hundred if they are considered covid positive even then you can think of relaxations and covid guidelines beyond that it is not it should not be done so there are certain norms and standards that are being laid down by who uh, those are ethical uh, or uh, evidence based guidelines that are done but the control has to be done by the local authorities so those are some of the key developments that have been taken into account when we focus on world organizations in a separate class we have already discussed about the various organizations at the national level working for conservation and protection of environment so those were some of the key highlights that we have gone through we would be covering many further interesting lectures stay tuned have a wonderful day